Let us try to understand what Hamming weight, Hamming distance and minimum distance is. So here I have considered a 6, 3 systematic linear block code. So we have defined the message vectors 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. And, you, and we have multiplied the message vector with a generator matrix which was used in the previous lecture and we have got the code words. So now we need to find out the Hamming weight. We also need to find out, we need to know what Hamming distance is and what is the minimum distance. Now how do we define Hamming weight? Hamming weight of a code word C is defined as the number of non-zero components in the received code word. So what does this mean? Let us try to find the Hamming weight. So these are all the code words here. The number of non-zero components in each code word is the Hamming weight. Now in the first code word, all of them are zero, so the weight is zero. The next, I have three ones, three non-zero elements, so the weight is three. I have three here, this is four, three, and then again four, four and three. Right? So the Hamming weight essentially is the number of non-zero components in the received code word. So next we try to find out the Hamming distance. Now Hamming distance between any two code words is defined as the number of components in which they differ. So let's consider, say, this. let me call this a C2. So let me call this a C2 and C6, the code words 1 to 8, right? So I have C2 which is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and C6 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So to find the Hamming distance, I find out the number of components in which the bits differ, right? So when I observe the first bit, C2 and C6 differ in the first bit and then they do not differ in the second bit not the third bit they do differ in the fourth bit they do not differ in the fifth bit and they do differ in the sixth bit okay so therefore the vectors the, the code vectors C2 and C6 differ in three bit positions so therefore the Hamming distance is said to be three let's take two other vectors let us take C4 and C8. So C4 is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. And C8 is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. So again I need to identify the number of components in which the bit positions differ. So it differs in the first, the second, third, they do not differ. Differ in the fourth and in the sixth. Okay, so therefore the Hamming distance is said to be 3. Okay, so to take any two code words and then find out in how many bit positions they vary and that would be the Hamming distance between those two corresponding code words. Next we come to the minimum distance. The minimum distance is defined as the smallest Hamming distance between any two code words in a vector, right? So what is the smallest Hamming distance? The smallest Hamming distance is also equal to the smallest Hamming weight, leaving zero. Now we find that if the message vector is zero, the code vector will always be zero, so we neglect that. So apart from zero here, the minimum distance is always equal to the minimum Hamming weight. So therefore, for this code vector, okay, the minimum distance d minimum would be equal to 3. Okay? So the minimum distance is defined as the smallest Hamming distance between any two code words, but it is also equal to the minimum weight. So we have to remember that we need to neglect the all zero combination. And here we find that for this set of code vectors, the minimum weight is 3 and therefore the minimum distance also is 3. Right? So we have understood three things, three parameters, what is Hamming weight, 
So Hamming weight is the number of non-zero components in the code word. And what is Hamming distance? Take any two code words and find out in which bit positions these two code words differ. Okay, so the number of positions in which they differ would give the Hamming distance. And what is the minimum distance? Minimum distance is defined as the minimum Hamming distance between any two code words and is also equal to the minimum Hamming weight. Of course, neglecting the all zero combination and Hamming weight equal to zero.